Hey everyone and welcome back to Zero to Hero episode 2. Uh, today we're going to be looking at trying to get our dagger build up to tier 4. Um, probably going to be running some expeditions or looking for some hidden treasures. Um, and just trying to get our daggers to level 4. As long as we can get that to level 4 we can start working on our tank build as well. Um, with the tank build I think we're going to be trying to go for a soul scythe build. Um, as that's a great engage in ZVZs and other kind of fights. Um, so we're going to be trying to get that daggers to T4, like I said, and that's going to include the leather, uh, you know, the Merc Helms, and the, basically the, all the leather gear is also going to be leveled up to Tier 4. Um, so what you guys need to remember is you have 100 learning points coming out of the tutorial, and your 100 learning points are going to be, you know, you can use them later on because they are more beneficial later on, but if you're looking to just get a fast start and you don't have any friends to kind of speed up your progress in the beginning, I would suggest using your learning points to get everything up to tier 4. At tier 4, then you can stop using your learning points for then, uh, for the time being. And, you know, that's that's what I'm going to end up doing here, is I'm going to use my learning points to speed up the progress. As to get to tier 4, I'm not going to actually do anything with friends. Um, I'm not going to do anything with the LFG chat in the game. I won't be able to do anything with guild members. I'm pretty much just going to stick to myself because I know a lot of you guys kind of deal with the same thing going through the beginning stages of the game. You guys don't have any friends or anything playing with you possibly. Um, and even if you do, they're probably the same level as you. So you're probably not going to be able to zoom through like um, I would be able to if I, you know, went around, uh, you know, just starting fresh and starting slow without friends. So what we're doing right now is I'm struggling through the auction house at the uh, uh, Fort Sterling, trying to buy me my leather, um, all my junk back because I sold it all in the previous episode. I sold it all, and you know now we got the tier two, uh, the whole tier two set going. Um, and what we're gonna be looking for it looks like we're looking for a cape and a bag as well. Um, as we get the tier two cape, uh, pretty cheap for the tier two cape and the tier two bag. So no problems there. We're going to be at 907 silver. Really low in silver right now. Um, so we basically need to make sure we don't make a stupid mistake by going into black zone or something and dying because that's going to slow my progress down a ton. Uh, the one thing you're going to realize because of some of you guys going a gathering build um, to you know make your money, you're going to be set because you're going to have a way to make the money back you lose. As going a build like I am, um, I'm not going to really have anything I can really do to make money back if you know I have to restart my progress at you know at 1000 silver and I don't have any you know items in the bank <laughs> it's going to be a rough you know way to get back into it so right here we're going to be looking at the expeditions expeditions is one way you can make a little bit of silver and a little bit of fame it's nothing special but in the beginning it's not bad because you can get that 1000 silver bonus as well so you actually get 2000 silver com for completing that tier 3 uh, solo um, but that is at tier three you have to be so right now I'm going out into the random blue zone I just picked a random one went out here and just started attacking mobs We're gonna try to get ourselves to tier three it doesn't take much um, As you see we got tier two on and we kill the mob we get our silver and it says that's a start so We're basically like I said trying to get ourselves to tier three and here's two more mobs for us We're gonna stack them up with the uh, enchanted errors or you know whatever it's called it's gonna basically do AOE damage, which is going to help us uh, take these down with the deadly shot as well. It's going to do a little bit of AOE damage, so um, that's helpful to get groups of you know groups of mobs in a line. That's going to be helpful for pretty much any AOE DPS in the future. So you're going to want to make sure you're kind of just stacking them across from each other to speed up your progress. Um, I get my destiny fulfilled. Uh, that means I have Journeyman's Reaver completed, and then I'm going to notice I'm about one away on the learning points. Uh, to use my learning points to get this to T3 so I do end up killing one more mob go to the bank see that I need item equipable um, and I use my learning points it's only two learning points which is literally nothing um, in the future so it's really not a big deal to use them early on like this you're really not gonna slow your progress later on I mean six learning points is not gonna do anything for you or four learning points my bad um, so you saw that we are now able to wear tier 3 um, we're one away from being able to wear uh, specialized armor and specialized weapons, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and now we're going to go back to the marketplace and we're going to get ourselves equipped with tier 3. I already sold the dagger. Um, we're going to be looking to buy uh, the tier 3 dagger. And let's see here. Looks like we're looking in to see 
what we need to actually get and it is we are going to run a dagger in the beginning for the tier uh four as well probably because a blood letter costs 40k unless we can make some good money we're going to be stuck with a t3 or t4 dagger instead of a tier four blood letter um just for the time being but right here you're going to be able to see that my novice bow is trying to sell for 139 silver it's not selling right away so i cancel it because i need a little bit more silver to buy my tier three dagger so i'm going to sell this thing right here for 48 instead of 139 Unfortunate, we're going to lose a little silver. Not a big deal, though. Uh, that's like nothing later on. So we'll just end up buying our Tier 3 Journeyman's Dagger and start leveling you know, our dagger up. So right here, we're going to have not enough money to actually upgrade our gear. We're going to go back in Expedition uh, to level our gear up so we can get that Tier 3 gear as well. Uh, we're going to do one more Expedition, it looks like. And, you know, in the future, um, one thing I don't suggest is running uh, expeditions more than you know once per that bonus but in the beginning since I am not going a gathering um, build or profession uh, it's kind of my only way to make money um, you know I could go out there in on the map and you know find those green spots and possibly make money that way but you know I'll show you <laughs> later on why I wasn't able to actually do that this time around um, as we're on the boss now I kind of skipped ahead a little bit for you guys we're on the boss of the expedition uh, this is our second expedition here we're going to be getting one so he throws out a pretty dangerous move. It actually shreds you pretty well, surprisingly. But yeah, right there we kill him for the... He gives you a 500 silver drop. And then you also get 1,000 silver when you exit. Um, this won't be the bonus, so I won't actually get that 2,000 silver that I got the first time. And as we get out of here, slowly loading. There we go. Four sterling. We're back, and we get that 2,000 silver drop, actually. That was the 2000 silver drop. Um, I said that wrong the whole time, but we did get the 2000 silver. We're going to be at 3,151 and we're actually going to be able to see that at tier four uh, or tier three. That was the first expedition. So you're going to be able to see that I actually um, am not able to get my second expedition bonus until that 15 hour mark. Sorry about confusing you guys there for a second, but you're going to be able to see that tier four also gives you an item plus uh, more silver. So if we can get to tier four, we're actually going to be able to do an expedition and make more money off that expedition. Right here, we're going to try the famous strategy of looking for treasure chests or hidden treasures in the black zone. Uh, so the first thing we did is we looked around to see, you know, what's the safest black zone area? Um, what's basically the farthest away from Carleon's black zone spots? Um, I ran out here for probably 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Didn't find a single hidden treasure. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing, but I'm just going to speed through probably the first five, ten minutes of that search uh, for hidden treasure. I went all over the map. Um, I even zoned to a different zone. Couldn't find any hidden treasure. I don't know what was going on. I usually get pretty good luck with that. So that was probably one of the most unfortunate things for me because silver is going to be a big deal in the beginning here. As I'm leveling pretty quickly, I'm already going to be on tier three. Um, I'm kind of setting up a LFG chat group real quick. Uh, I took out the trade chat group and made it so whispers and LFGs um, kind of come into this channel. So in the future, when I get to tier four, tier five, I will be doing dungeons. So I just kind of set that up for prior um, prior to that you know need of it so right here i'm like okay let's go to a green dungeon out here in the wilderness we tried it with that solo 30 minute challenge um and they're not terrible and they have a little bit better fame than expeditions so i run out here and i'm already seeing people left and right so i'm kind of worried that you know this dungeon's probably already taken um because you know you've got players all around on the outskirts so i decide to hop on in and you guys got to remember by the way a lot of these strategies have changed over time because you know there's a lot more people actually playing at this point in time from compared to when I started playing I started playing these early stages right before free to play you know came out so that's when I started playing and there was not near as many people running around obviously so that's going to be you know a big reason why uh, this change is kind of you know screwing me up here in this start trying to understand um, and trying to learn from what you know what is the new meta uh, for starting the beginners you know, what's the beginner's new guide, I guess? What's what's the best way to level up? And we're going to kind of see that there's a lot of different ways to do it, but, you know, none of them are perfect. So right here, we ended up obviously finding another guy doing the same dungeon. He killed the same boss. Uh, these guys all spawn on us, which is fine. He's actually a healer, so it would have been great to party up with him, but I'm trying not to party up right now. So right here, he's actually throwing me some heals, which is nice, but, I mean, I don't really need them. Uh, we're going to take these out real quick and get some decent fame and a little bit of better silver than an expedition would give you. 
So that's always a good thing. But we're back to the expeditions, and we're going to do our second expedition now. This is where I got it mixed up earlier. I thought we were, we were on our second expedition earlier, but we're actually on our second expedition expedition now. Um, as we're on the boss here for the second expedition, we're going to be just trying to, oh, well, obviously I didn't dodge anything there. Occasionally you'll you'll notice I don't dodge something, and that may be because I'm in a safe spot and I'm not worried about a death. Um, so I might be alt tabbed at that you know at that time you got to remember I'm cutting this down to about a 12 14 minute video or something I don't know what this video will be but I'm cutting it down a lot for you guys so you know I'm I've probably been on for 45 50 minutes here at this point in time so I'm AFKing even in that big uh, damage zone but you got to remember we're in a safe spot so you know taking that kind of damage won't be a big factor I get 702 fame for that kill which is going to be a nice chunk and that's always going to be the nice part of expeditions that final kill. Um, but we did get learning points reached, and we're going to be exiting here. Um, as you guys see those learning points reached, we're already at Tier 3. So that's going to mean Tier 4 is available for us if we want to use our learning points to get that Tier 4. Um, as we load out slowly again, uh, we're going to get to Fort Sterling. And you're going to see learning points reached popping still. They're popping, popping, popping. And we're going to get that 1,000 silver, which is nothing special. 1,000 silver at this point in time. Uh, is not special. 2,000 silver at that point in time early on in the video was actually pretty decent. It was pretty useful, you know. But here we're going to do learning points on all of the, uh, you know, possible learning points. And we're going to see the Adept Reavers pretty close to available to us. Uh, and that's going to be a big deal because we're actually going to be able to bump up our expeditions to Tier 4 or even a group Tier 4, which is going to give us even more silver. Um, but expeditions is going to be kind of my money maker, which is kind of a sad thought because expeditions are really, really, really kind of garbage money. Um, but if I was going a gathering build, like I said, uh, you're going to want to be gathering right now instead of doing expeditions, most likely if you need silver for better weapons, um, because you're not going to make anything, you know, doing expeditions, not going to make enough. I should say, uh, right here, I actually just sold all of my weapons and armor. I'm going to go to Carleon and I think in the next video, we're actually going to try some hidden chests in the Carleon. Uh, area we're going to have to run through Fort Sterling so I'm not sure why I did that because we're gonna have to run through Fort Sterling's realm gate uh, to get to Carleon's exit to remap our realm gate if you guys know what I'm saying there uh, but if you follow me you know what I mean and I'm going to have to actually uh, remap where I am using realm gates and that's going to be a little bit of a problem we'll have to you know I'll probably do that before the next episode for your guys sake but we are going to be in Carleon basically for the next episode and uh, there will be a lot going on and I'll see you guys next time as we slowly progress and get to the point where we are actually able to do some more content and I'll see you guys next time. Of my weapons and armor, 